Howdy folks, it's your old mate DP, and I've gathered you all here today in honour of a legend in the debunking space who's been around for years, member of the Wolfpack, Critical Think. Besides the fact that Critical Think is automatically awesome because he's a fellow Australian, just like me, he's also been doing this whole debunking lark for about seven years, which is a lot longer than me, and he's been doing it super well. If you go to Critical Think's channel, Go to the video page, you can scroll all the way down and you'll see his first video from seven years ago was Ships Over the Curve. That old classic, you've got to love it. He's also done a butt ton of measurements. He's an expert at measurements and he did some of that down in Antarctica. We'll circle back around to Antarctica in a minute. But most recently, Critical Think took one for the team and took a massive risk in downloading Dearth's Sun, Moon and Zodiac Clock app, which as we all know, doxes everybody who downloads it and links their data all over the internet. It sucks. Critical Think had no fear. He took it on the chin, downloaded that app and followed Dearth's instructions to the letter, watching one of his dirt filled videos every day for two whole weeks, just to get the opportunity to present his one glow proof. And it just so happens, Critical Think had the perfect thing to submit to Durst's three Bitcoin challenge because he had exactly what Dearth has been asking for for years. When Critical Think went to Antarctica with the final experiment, he had to fly from Sydney to Santiago, a flight that Dave says is impossible. Well, Critical Think did it, not once, but twice. And he documented the whole thing. He submitted that to Dearth as his globe proof, having completed his challenge and eagerly awaited delivery of his three Bitcoins, which I'm sure that Dearth totally has and hasn't just imagined. However, it turns out that Dearth, or the Pate Troll, isn't as honest and forthright as we thought because he just nut hard Critical Think's claim. I'd say that's pretty shocking, but it's kind of what we all expect from Dearth anyway. The final experiment that Critical Think's flights were a part of was organised by Will Duffy to see whether or not there was in fact a 24-hour sun. Spoilers, there was, and Earth is a globe. But we all knew that already. Dave McKeegan for the globe side had his trip paid for by Will. Jaron for the flat Earth side had his trip paid for by Will as well, but he needed to take some excess baggage. I mean, he wanted Austin Witsit to go with him, so uh, Will paid for Austin to go as well. But Critical Think, he paid for his trip out of his own pocket and then set up a GoFundMe to hopefully recover the cost that he'd outlaid. He's done pretty well over the last six months. He's managed to raise you know, almost half of what his goal is. But you know what, debunking community? I, for one, think we can do better. So to that end, my fine feathered friends, I've come up with a cunning plan. On the weekend of September 6th through to the 8th, we are going to be holding a massive worldwide creator-led streaming extravaganza, and I'm calling it the Critical Streamathon. What the hell is a critical streamathon? I hear you ask. Well, keep watching because that's why this thing is called an announcement video, because I'm announcing all the bits, so you've got to watch it to get the information. So the way this thing's going to work might be a little bit different to what you're expecting or what you might be used to, but it's going to be fun as hell. We're going to kick it off here in the Revunctorium and I will be your host initially, but at some point I'm going to need to take a break before I fall asleep and face plant on my keyboard. So when we hit that point, I will hand over the reins to another content creator. They'll either come in to the debunkatorium and take over my stream, or we'll use the redirect or raid function and all move over to their channel. Then when they need a break, they'll be able to hand it off to somebody else and they'll be able to hand it on to somebody else and so on and so forth. Think of it like a, a relay or a round robin kind of thing, but with YouTube channels and streaming and debunking and chaos. It's going to be awesome. I've already put the wheels in motion in organizing this thing. Earlier today, I sent out a bunch of emails to different content creators and had a really positive response, which is fantastic. But if you're a content creator watching this and you haven't heard from me, please don't panic. It doesn't mean that I hate you or that I've forgotten about you. I'll be sending out more emails in the next few days and over the next week or so. That being said, if you want to beat me to the punch, 
email me at oldmatedp at gmail.com or hit me up on Discord. It's just DP, the bunks. It's not that hard. And I'll be more than happy to send you all the details I've got so far. But of course, it's not just about the content creators, people. It'd be a bit of a dick move if I made this whole video just told you, like, I've emailed some people and there was nothing in it for you lot. But that absolutely is because I need your help. I want this event to be massive. We've got creators all over the world and I want as many of them involved as we can manage. I can't do all of that on my own. So if you go down to the description of this video, you're going to find a link to a form for the Critical Streamathon support team. What I'm looking for is anyone who wants to help out in any way, shape or form. Maybe you want to create some graphics for a media pack for us, help promote the thing. If you want to wrangle the creators on the day and help coordinate those hand of different streams, if you want to help with scheduling, if you just want to moderate some chats for people, I want to hear from you. Many hands make light work. If you want to get involved, please hit up that link because I would love to have you assist to make this thing as successful as possible. In terms of the bigger picture, this community has been fantastic the way we all come together for a common shared goal, which is fighting misinformation, combating derp like the flat earth, and making sure science denial does not win. It's been phenomenal, but the thing that makes this community truly great, the thing that makes it what it is, is the people, is you. And I, for one, think if we can all come together for another common goal, which is supporting Critical Think and trying to get him over the line with his fundraising goal, it will highlight the difference between us and all those flat earthers. And that difference is that we show up. So in case you can't quite tell through this video, I'm a little bit excited about the Critical Streamathon, and I want you and all of your favorite content creators to get involved. But if you want to get involved, again, that link is down in the description. It doesn't matter where in the world you are. If you can help, I want to hear from you, and I really, really hope I do, because this thing is going to be friggin' awesome. Put it in your calendar, September 6th to 8th, the Critical Streamathon. If you can help out, smash the link down below and let me know. Spread the word far and wide. It's going to be fantastic. Hold on, we're not quite ready to wrap up yet past DP, so hand over to me, future DP, because I've got some important information to share. Now, you may not be able to help out with the organization or coordination of the Critical Streamathon, and that's totally fine. You might not be a content creator, and that is okay too, but there's three other ways you can help out Critical Think. And I'll walk you through them now. So the first one, and possibly the most obvious, is if you, you're able to, if you've got some spare cash laying around, because we all do it in this day and age, we really don't, you can contribute directly to Critical Think's GoFundMe campaign. You would have seen the QR code pop up all the way through this video. You can scan that and it'll take you through to the GoFundMe or the link is in the description and that would be massively helpful for Critical Think. Other ways you can help out indirectly. First of all, if you want to pick up some cool merch, you can do so at the DP Debunk store and 100% of the profit made on every single item so from now until Critical Think's goal is reached is going towards his GoFundMe campaign. So I will make nothing from that store. It's all going to the GoFundMe. The other thing I'll be doing is at 10% of the YouTube revenue generated by my channel from views, from super chats, from ad revenue, anything like that is going towards Critical Think's GoFundMe campaign as well. So the easiest way for you to help out is to come along to the debunkatorium and hang out in my live streams or just watch all of my content, all of my videos on repeat. Watch them as many times as you can. The more views, the more revenue, the more money goes into that GoFundMe campaign. Super easy. You don't have to lift a finger. You can just enjoy some funny, silly stuff and hopefully have a good time. And if you've already watched it, just watch everything again, two, three, four hundred times. That would be super. Just to recap, you can contribute directly to the Critical Thinks GoFundMe campaign. Uh, you can go to the DP Debunk store and 100% of the profits are going to the GoFundMe for the foreseeable future. Or just watch my content and 10% of whatever YouTube or NASA pay me at the end of each month is going towards the GoFundMe campaign. Awesome. So now back to past DP and he can wrap the launch video up for the Critical Streamathon. Until next time, I shall see you next time. Be excellent to each other. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Love you, bye.